there are a lot of pros and cons around having a gym membership. And we often see January and February being that peak time when people are more interested or inclined to go back to a gym um, for that structured workout or that accountability to support their health goals. And I think before you make that decision on if it's a good thing for you to do this or not, I think we really need to kind of reassess the pros and cons of the notorious gym membership. And, you know, not so much that leading you to the decision to quit it, but more so up front, if it's something that's actually going to add long-term value to your strategy for building health. Now, obviously the pros of it, you get a variety of equipment to use. There's professional guidance. Um, there's group classes that can be fun and interesting and engaging. And these are all positives, right? These are reasons commonly found why people join gyms. But the cons of this really deserve some attention too. Number one is the cost, right? You can work out for free but it requires some different approaches and strategies to being successful and consistent at it that, you know, a gym does afford you that accountability and structure with. The other thing is time and convenience is not always lined up with gyms. You know, it's going to require extra time to get there. You have to schedule it. It may not be convenient for you to get to, and you have to come into regular visits so it doesn't become a burden, right? Which is why most people end up quitting their gym. It doesn't fit into the schedule and we're adding it on top of an already stressful lifestyle. So my recommendation to my clients are, well, let's address the stress, right? Why are we letting stress dictate what we want to do in our life? And until we get a handle on stress, this gym membership really isn't going to give you the advantages that you want it to have when you purchase that membership. And then I think the other thing that comes into it is too, is considering how we personally enjoy and engage in physical activity. Now, for me, I can tell you that when I work out, I need something that stimulates my mind as much as my body. If I'm just sitting there walking on a treadmill or doing some mindless activity, I can promise you it's not something I'm going to stick to because I need something that engages all of me. And so for me, a group class where I really enjoy the other people in the class, I enjoy the instructor and it gets me in an element where I feel like my mind is also getting some benefit. I'm in, right? The other thing is to really reflect on your schedule, your budget, your access to resources, and, you know, if there's another way that works better for you, the, the important thing is, whether it's a gym or not a gym approach, the important thing is finding a strategy that works best for you, that you can not just pile it onto a daily stress list, but it adds value. It, you look forward to doing it and it gives you the motivation to want to do it right in your day on a regular basis and it doesn't feel like a chore. So for help with your holistic health needs, please reach out to me at dragonspitapothecary.com.